At midnight, August 7th, a sea turtle hatchling was picked up near the well-lit road on West Beach Boulevard in Gulf Shores, Alabama, near Callaway Pass. Several volunteers of Share the Beach Laguna Key team responded in an attempt to locate other hatchlings as well as the nest. The team leader, Sherry Parks, discovered the nest by finding a convergence of hatchling tracks in the sand. She dug into the sand and exposed a head and four turtles quickly hatched. Tracks showed at least 11 had made it to the water and another live one was found nearby. These five babies were picked up by FedEx and taken to the eastern side of Panama City, Florida for release into the Gulf of Mexico. It was already another sizzling hot day, so sand was piled on the nest in an attempt to cool things down so that the remainder of the nest would not hatch until later that evening. Tom, Linda, and Deb Kay were on patrol that morning. Rick stayed along with Deb Kay and Sherry, but it was the girls that took most of the hot beach nest sitting for the entire day. A cage was crafted to protect hatchlings from predators. However, the nest was never left unattended. Sometimes we tend to focus on the big event, like the present condition of all sea turtles, when in actuality, we would do it all for just the chance that one of these little guys might make the difference. That's perfect. He'll make it, he'll make it. There we go. Let's watch this guy one more time. That's perfect. He'll make it, he'll make it. That one's smaller too, Sherry. The first hatchling seen in this video came out unexpectedly around 7 p.m. that evening, which was approximately 17 hours after the first hatchling had been found initially by a tourist. We wanted the babies to stretch their legs prior to placing them in the crate so they were allowed to walk a short distance in the Alabama sand. Hopefully imprinting was done while in the nest or during this walk and the survivors will return to our beaches one day for nesting. Uh, really kind of near side. Everything's kind of blurry. Our little event gathered quite a crowd of interested vacationers. Certainly this is an event that when witnessed in person will make a lasting impression on individuals, young and old alike. Dug it up. We don't know how many are in there. 
Oh yeah, let's let's let's, let's, let's see what's uh, let's see what the uh, sand reveals. This nest was not located during normal morning patrol and was located about 10 feet from the Gulf waters well below the high tide line. The nest was laid the first week of June when the Alabama beaches were first oiled from the deep water horizon oil spill. Additionally, the Callaway Pass was full of piles of sand, ATVs, and foot workers present for cleanup of the BP oil spill. This entire area was underwater during the passing of Tropical Storm Alex a few weeks earlier, and the nest was underwater for at least a 12-hour period during this one occasion. What do you say? Low battery? No, I tried to zoom in a little bit, trying to not. But, I mean, if the, more, the more you zoom in, the darker it gets, so we've got to get in pretty close. <laughs> Yeah. Well, some of these are. That's the empty egg. Oh, it's almost out. Look at that. That's a good place for a stick up. Look how tiny that is. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. The best data available estimates that there were 114 eggs in this nest. The hatchlings that were found this morning were transported to Florida for release east of Panama City. Fish and Wildlife allowed the 16 that hatched in this video to be released from the Bon Secure National Wildlife Refuge about 4 a.m. the 8th of August. Oh, wow. 